Hi, let's talk about Lewis dot structures and multiple bonds now. Um, so I have a little key for you up here. When two atoms share two electrons, which on those atoms is a single bond, and that's indicated with one line. Um, when you have four electrons that are shared between two atoms, four electrons, that is called a double bond, and so it gets two lines. Notice one line indicates two electrons. So if you have four electrons, you get two lines. Um, and then a triple bond is when in between two atoms, we share six electrons. And that is a triple bond with three lines. Um, so I have up here um, five examples. We're gonna start really basic and build from there so that you can see the single, the double, and the triple bond a couple of different ways. All right. So let's start with our hydrogen. Hydrogen has one valence electron, and hydrogen only needs two electrons to have a full shell. So one hydrogen will share an electron with another hydrogen, and there is H2, our diatomic element. Now let's look at oxygen. So oxygen has six valence electrons. Six valence electrons. And oxygen, to have a full octet, needs two more electrons. Well, check this out. The hydrogen, if it shared these two electrons, I'm going to do this in steps. You'd have, and I'm going to kind of move electrons around a little bit. Let's keep the lone pairs up top, and I'm going to put this pair over here and move that electron right there, and let's have this electron here. I still have the electrons on the bottom. Okay, I'm going to share two electrons. So we share like that. Now let's pause and count and see what each oxygen senses. So this oxygen is going to sense two, four, six, seven. Ooh, we're close, but we're not quite at the eight. This oxygen senses two, four, six, seven. So they each need one more electron. Here's how we solve the problem. I'm going to take these two electrons right here, those two, and we're going to share them. So let's share those two, and we will get oxygen, now, so there was sharing two electrons, we're going to share another set of two electrons, so a double bond, and that oxygen with its two lone pairs. So let's check each oxygen. This oxygen senses two, four, six, eight, and that oxygen senses two, four, six, eight. They both have a full octet with a double bond. So each oxygen has a double bond and two lone pairs of electrons. Okay. Let's look at our, um, let's look at the nitrogen. I'm gonna go ahead and just rewrite this so we have a little more room. Okay, so nitrogen has five valence electrons. Five valence electrons, so it needs three more electrons to have a full octet. I bet you can see already what we're going to do. I can take those three electrons and share them with those three electrons. I'm going to do it in two steps. Check this out. So I'll keep the lone pair up top. I'm going to move these three electrons, one, two, three, and then these three electrons, one, two, three. Let's go ahead and share. I'm going to share two electrons, share two electrons, share two electrons. So we share two, four, six electrons that makes that a triple bond. Now let's check it. Each nitrogen senses, the one on the left, two, four, six, eight electrons. And then this nitrogen senses two, four, six, eight. So with a triple bond, both nitrogens have a full octet. Um, and notice it was totally fine for me to take those three electrons and move them in the middle to share them each so that you ended up with three bonds. Um, so another, all, all three of these are diatomic elements, um, where in their gaseous state, um, elemental form, they are, uh, they have buddies because of the stability from covalent bonding, sharing electrons. Okay, cool. Okay, let's look at this. So we're going to have um, CH2O. Carbon has four valence electrons. Hydrogen has one, and I've got two hydrogens. And then the oxygen, we've got six valence electrons. Okay, so remember the central atom, you always put the atom with the fewest valence electrons with the exception of hydrogen. So carbon has the fewest uh, valence electrons. I'm gonna put that in the middle. Okay, now 
I try and take care of the oxygen first. And this would be an organic compound. Um, it's going to be solved one of two ways, filling the oxygen with the two electrons that it needs. It's either going to be a double bond. I'm going to share two electrons uh, from the central atom, or it would be something like this, where I share one um, electron with the carbon, and then I put an oxygen over here. I put the hydroxide, the hydroxyl group on the end. Um, so those just kind of rule of thumb. That's always what I'm looking for when I have the oxygen with the carbon. There will be sometimes if you have multiple carbons, there'll be oxygen in the middle like that, like an ether, um, but not, not super often. Okay, so I'm looking at this. Carbon needs a total of um, four more electrons. So this is what I'm going to do first. Take care of the oxygen. I might try a double bond and see if that will give us what we need. So I'm going to take these two electrons and I'm going to share both of those with the oxygen. So if I share two electrons from carbon, that means I share two electrons from oxygen. The oxygen has its two lone pairs left over. Um, so let me show you that again. On this oxygen, it shared one electron, shared one electron, that would have been one, two, three, four, five, six. There's the six valence electrons. But by doing the double bond, sharing with the carbon, it senses, remember, it thinks both of the electrons in those bonds belong to its atom, oxygen. It senses two, four, six, eight. So it gets the sensation of a full octet, a full energy level, full shell. Um, okay, so carbon, if we pause for a second, it senses two, four, five, six. It still needs two more electrons. Well, that's where the hydrogens are going to come in. One hydrogen will share one electron, and one hydrogen will share one electron. So let's check it. Hydrogens, great. They each sense two electrons. Again, the oxygen senses two, four, six, eight. Let's check the carbon. The carbon senses two, four, six, eight, an octet. So we are done. There's the Lewis dot structure. Now, a little side note. Um, I've seen AP do this often on their FRQs. They would set up the um, Lewis dot structure like this. They would do um, a carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, hydrogen, and they expect the student to write the bonds and write the lone pairs. So they kind of give a skeleton structure to put you in the right direction, but then you'd have to go, okay, carbon has four electrons, I'm going to share two electrons here, one electron here, one electron. Oxygen has six valence electrons, it shared two, so I have two lone pairs left over, like that. So they'd expect you to finish that off. You have to include the lone pairs and you have to be really careful with the double bonds as well. Um, I don't think teachers and professors are as generous as AP is. You'd be given this and expected from scratch to write the Lewis dot structure, whereas AP tends to give a skeleton form of it. Okay, let's look at carbon dioxide. We exhale, there's the carbon dioxide. So carbon has four valence electrons, oxygen has our six valence electrons, and I've got two of those. Um, so we'll put oxygen fewest valence electrons as a central atom. atom. There's my four valence electrons. Okay, so we know that oxygen needs two more valence electrons. I'm, I'm just going to take care of one of the oxygens right now. I'm going to take care of these two valence electrons from carbon, and let's go ahead and share both of those with the oxygen. So the oxygen shared two electrons, which means it has two lone pairs left over two lone pairs left over. Uh, so again, the oxygen had six valence electrons. There was one here, one there that it shared, one, two, three, four, five, six. But by sharing with carbon, it now senses two, four, six, eight, an octet. Now I have the second oxygen that we've got to take care of. So let's take these two electrons and share those. Now let's pause, sorry, for just a second. Carbon, if I stopped right here, carbon only senses two, four, five, six it needs two more electrons. So this is going to work out perfect. If I share those two electrons with its second oxygen, so I share an electron, share an electron, the oxygen, it shared an electron, shared an electron, one, two, so there's three, four, five, six. It has two lone pairs from its six valence electrons. <gasps> Look at this. The oxygen on the left senses two, four, six, eight. 
carbon senses 2468, and the right oxygen senses 2468. They all have a full octet. Uh, so there's a little bit of practice with multiple bonds, and I'm sure you'll, you'll be doing more. So good luck with it, counting electrons, getting to that octet. Good work.